nice and obnoxious sound. You know what that time it is then. It is time for a Shindo Life video. Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me, Juice Frosty, and I also just wanted to cover a little something, which I guess, before I continue. For the sake of everyone's ears, I will turn this off. I really need to make a setting to mute this sound. It is <laughs> still extremely bad. You guys are probably wondering from the title, what is this big mystery that we're going to be talking about in Shindo Life? Essentially, this phenomenon is very simple, and it's why do people come back to this game? In the life is kind of similar how what happens to people when they play Minecraft. Two week phase, if you know what I'm talking about, where you just join into the game and you play for like around two weeks, take a break for a few months, come back two weeks again, and you guys just keep doing this over and over and over again. Well, this is kind of what this is. They start playing this. They wonder why. And you just can't help it. You just want to play this game again and again. And you know what? I decided to cover a few reasons why you guys come back to this. And it's definitely not for the spitting. Nobody comes back to spin this. I'm only doing this now because I'm over here recording. But if I could, I definitely don't want to do you doing this. Because we like to spin 500 spins without instant spin game pass. Because without that, it's just really horrible to do. And two, I'm going to be honest. But whenever you turn on the sound, you know, you hear this nice little nostalgic sound that you used to hear when you first started the game, which is just... Stacking sounds of spinning. It's not even bad when you spin one at a time. That's the funny thing. We're still over here spinning for this nice little real bloodline. Probably don't think I'll ever be getting that, but the day I do, I'll showcase it myself. But as we enter the game, we see the nice little visuals as you just look around, see the nice villages. Decided to go into the new one instead of the old one because I usually never go in the new one. I always just go in the, to the old one, though. So just for change of pace, we go here. Because, you know, everybody always goes to the old one for, nost for nostalgia. Which is actually one of the things that brings people back to this game. Just the whole nostalgia bit of it. Because it's weird. This game still has 10,000 players, like, almost daily. Which, honestly, it is pretty surprising. Considering you would have expected this game to probably die down by now. Since, well, you know, they practically stopped updating it as they're updating Relsies far more. I mean... Granted, they two teams on this game, so it's not as if two, they have like multiple teams for different projects. It's not as if but they definitely can work on this whenever they absolutely want, right? It's not as if the game's completely dead. Pretty sure they still do some bug updates every now and then, but short side of the game. <laughs> Always enjoy it and enjoy the nice little PvP of the aspect of this, because it's definitely one of them. The game is still mostly alive, because many people actually do enjoy playing the PvP part of the game. It's, seriously, the PvP side is, is fun, but it's only fun for when you start off the game, because eventually it just ends up becoming your usual bandit beater from every other game, like Grim Wars Era. The game literally just released not too long ago, and not gonna lie, the game looks good in a way, but it's just your little typical bandit beater i mean it looks like any one piece game that keeps releasing there's nothing interesting about it it's like looking at blocks fruits you, you still don't understand why it has so many players despite looking kind of eh but i get so much hate down in the comments <laughs> you'd always hop on the game to enjoy some uh, boss battles or anything you want to just to join in you know when you start up the game or if you ever come back you always will enjoy the boss battles part of the game this thing is always just nice and fun to play against you now enjoying the nice boss battles as you try to get some of their drops if that would even hit because there's still a lot of stuff that you can play is like if one if you're a returning player there's like lots and lots of stuff that they added over the time i'm actually one of them i haven't played in so long before that i had to come back to get a lot of the new stuff like aizen's for example this whole new bloodline's sick and i didn't even know it actually existed having to deal with every single tail base until eventually i got it and i will say this the whole thing itself is pretty damn strong that's another thing people will always come back to the whole part that oh wait they added tons of new stuff might as well try and get them all because you know they have like a whole bunch of weapons and it's extremely hard for you to actually come out to have them all like the chances of you having every single weapon yeah, it's pretty low you probably have like always like one or two missed weapons it'd be weird if you didn't seriously if you're the collector's part you might return to the game because hey you want to try and collect every single one of these weapons and i've collected a few but definitely not all most of these come from boss drops and boss drops are are decently interesting to get not the best considering well four percent and then three point thirty three percent and that just goes for every single boss and they come back like every five minutes now every three minutes ish so they come back every three minutes and then you just have to like cycle every boss that's that in itself is just still not fun definitely won't be one of the reasons you'll come back for you'll come back for trying to grind the items not because you enjoyed fighting the bosses. Maybe you did enjoy fighting the Susanos. Maybe you did enjoy fighting Karama the first time he came out. There's a lot of, there's, there's definitely a lot of things you can come back for. But the first reason, you guys already said. So we already said nostalgia. Nostalgia is one thing or two. Maybe you came back because you're a collectionist. Or three, maybe you and the homies decided to come back into the game in your two-week phase. Because like I said, that always happens. 
you might come back for the nice little two week phase. It'd be weird if you don't. Just like, look at that. This person has no prestige. They started for the first time ever. For the first time ever, helped the guy out, and now he's over here grinding. If I actually look at Chad, he's actually F Frank. This is actually the first time he's ever playing playing on the new village. You'll actually get to see whether or not he'll enjoy this game or not. Because there's just lots of NPCs around. I already see the enemies. I'll go I'll go take him down for him. But that's another thing. Joining back into the game with your friends, sit down, play for the, like the next week or two. Because the game is pretty fun when you all just get on trying to get the drops, trying to get all the interesting, interesting bosses, try to just fool around, maybe PP against each other, maybe pull out the let me test this combo on you and just one shot the guy. Like, it, it's funny. <laughs> I definitely had my fair share of let me test this combo on you when I just had this brain dead idea of stun, 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 knock them back up into another stun because that's mostly what this game is. This game is literally just stun based combat. It's combo based. It's definitely combo based because you need to like figure out what moves can work well together in what order. But it's still stun based. It's completely stun based combat. It'd be weird if it'd be weird if one day this game decides to not take the stun based route because everything about it was stun based. I mean, now it's more less stun based combo and just more brute forcing it. I've noticed that more people have begun to use more moves that just a humongous amount of damage. Like that thing just uses an extremely amount of damage, extremely high amount of damage. It's actually one of the best Eisen's one of the best things in the game and that pretty much just comes third reason really just joining back playing with playing with friends or family if you have like a few people actually play with you but it is strange it still is even with the fact that this game is practically not even being updated anymore and it's just getting small little patches and barely any updates i don't even know if you guys know about this as new shindle like players yourself but one of the things they added recently was they added races into this game which is extremely weird uh wherever the heck it is it's probably still booted i'm guessing yeah they had a race back Right now, I'm the Shinobi race. I'm trying to get Celestial race. I honestly forgot what they called besides Celestials. <laughs> oh, hey, he's testing out some new stuff. He's testing out that nice wood jutsu. Look at that. Little man's going up in the world. He's probably just unlocked his first ability. Enjoying the nice wood jutsu. Man's got test M1. Testing some forms. Okay, testing the weapons. Not bad, not bad. Always a nice little thing for seeing people when they join the game. Still super weird seeing when people have joined for the first time and they're just like these little teeny little ninjas. <laughs> but still, this is further proof that this game just probably won't be dying anytime soon. For some reason, people just like coming back to this game and just end up enjoying all the different moves and testing out stuff, <laughs> stupid stuff like this. Testing out some nice new jutsu that you just got. Maybe you want to try out this element combo on someone. Good luck, little man. Good luck on the grind. That move is still so good. That range is insane. The water one, though, is far better. The AV worked a lot. But alright guys, do leave down a comment below if you actually do end up getting back into this game and let me know what you guys did. Let me know if you're grinding, maybe if you guys and if you and the homies decided to grind some bosses, get some new drops, let me know down below in the comments. Love to hear all the stories about it. Either way guys, hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.